Hello, this is Michael Williams. In this video, I want to share with you how you can transform your speech so that you no longer have to use or constantly use techniques to speak smoothly, so that you no longer have to be dependent on using uh, techniques in order to say what you want to say. You no longer have to do formal practice um, in this program or other programs. I'm going to share with you exactly what you must do in order to get to that place. So number one, the first thing that you must do is have a daily routine. You have to have a set of actions, practices that you're doing on a daily basis, right? Now, why is that? Well, let's just briefly talk about why it's important that you have a daily routine or daily practice. And for those of you that may be familiar with Pro90D, uh, you may be wondering, well, you say that you have to do this for 45 minutes, you have to do this for an hour. Well, you can start out with just five minutes a day, right, to build your way up. Take small steps to build momentum. So you don't have to start out with 45 minutes. If you're able to, that's going to get you there faster, right? But if you can't or you just feel like this is too much, it's overwhelming, start out with small steps just a few minutes a day. Now, here's why it's very important that you have a daily routine. Most of you know that speaking smoothly, feeling confident, feeling calm, feeling confident, being confident is not just a matter of something that's physical and it's not just mental. It has two dimensions to it, at least, and one is psychological and the other is physiological, right? So there's the, the mental and the physical side of this. And we know that you have a current pattern, a current way of thinking, a current way of behaving, a current way of speaking. So what is it that we're trying to accomplish here? Well, what we're trying to do is to replace this current way of thinking, this current way of speaking, with new ways. We're trying to replace it, overwrite the current way, the old way. How does that happen? Well, let's back up a little. Some of you think, well, I struggle with my speech. I stutter, do this or do that. And so that's neurological and it's not just habit, but it's literally neurological. It's not something that can be changed. Well, that's actually only partially true, okay? Uh, speaking and the way that you think about yourself as a speaker and the way that you think about speech are patterns, they are habits, they are things that you can change. Speaking smoothly is a skill. Feeling calm is a skill that you can learn. Um, speaking confidently is a skill. These are all things that are learnable so you can do them. No matter what the neurology, whether you stutter, stammer, or speak too fast, you can learn to speak a different way and to feel a different way. You can learn this, absolutely. How do I know it? Not only have I done it, but I've helped probably thousands of other people do it. Other programs have helped people do it. And so we know that it's possible. Now, how does this work neurologically? Well, something that's based on what we call Hebb's Law simply says that neurons that fire together wire together. This simply means that if you want to create a new pattern, a new pattern of thinking, say, for example, you're constantly thinking anticipating words. You just get this sense that you know you're going to get stuck on this word. You're not going to be able to say that. But we know that that's a pattern of thinking. It's also a belief. I just know I'm going to say that's a belief. Well, beliefs can be changed. Patterns of thinking can be changed. How do we change them? We replace them with new ones, right? And when you're replacing them, that new way of thinking is represented by a network of neurons that are connected, that are firing together, okay? And this network of neurons that are firing together is going to represent this new way of thinking. So what's important for you and I to know is that we need to know how we want to think. Here's how I want to think. So here are the things that I'm going to think, that I'm going to say to myself. Here are the things I'm going to visualize. Here are the things that I'm going to do so that I think in this new way. So when we're doing those things and we do them repeatedly, then what happens is you are firing that 
neural network, that pattern of neurons together repeatedly. Right? You're firing to them together, and they're going to represent that new behavior. So here's what you must have in your daily routine. You need to have a set of affirmations. These are statements that you tell yourself that actually change the way you think, right? You also need to have things that you say to yourself. This is your self-talk, what you actually say to yourself, which actually represents probably the most impactful part of changing the psychology or changing the way you think, the way you see yourself, the way that you behave. It's what you say to yourself, what you think. So in your daily routine, you have to have a set of affirmations. You need to have self-talk, things that you say to yourself that's more encouraging, that's different from what you usually say. And then third, you need to have visualization, that is literally sitting and picturing or seeing yourself behaving in a certain way, speaking in a certain way, feeling a certain way. So you see it, you actually experience it, you feel what does it sound like, what does it smell like, what does it feel like? So you visualize. So we got affirmations, we've got self-talk, we have visualization. These are the things that primarily address the psychological side of smooth speech. When you practice these things, consistent repetition over time, you practice them consistently over time, what happens is those neurons that represent that neural network that represents that new way of thinking and feeling, they begin to wire together. The firing of them together is you're repeating them, right? The wiring of them together is it becoming a pattern, a habit, something that you do automatically when they are wired together. In order for that firing and wiring to happen, there has to be consistent repetition over time. If that's not there, then you'll be stuck using techniques indefinitely, right? Because they haven't wired together and it'll be competing with your old way of thinking and behaving. So you'll have to consciously tell yourself to do this and do that. You don't want that. You want it to become automatic. How do you do it? Consistently repeating it over time. And the more you do it, and the sooner you do it, the more they wire in, the more it becomes automatic. So looking at your daily routine, you need to have at least three things. What? Affirmations, visualization, self-talk. Let's talk about what you also must have, what you must do physically, we call this modeling. What modeling does is it, uh, in the short term, it helps you kind of move past needing to be technique driven. So you and I grew up modeling our parents, our family, the people around us. We learned to speak by looking at and observing people around us. What this does is this helps you develop a pattern because you can see how someone else is speaking smoothly. You can see how calm they are, right? And you can mimic that. You can copy that. This also allows you to step outside yourself. Put yourself aside. Why do you want to put yourself aside? Because the person you currently are believes that you're going to get stuck. Uh, Maybe it's not as calm as you like. Maybe it's not as relaxed. Maybe it doesn't speak as slow. That's your current self. So we want to put that aside just temporarily. And you literally want to become, as far as speech is concerned, become your model. Become your model. Borrow your model's smoothness, your model's calmness, your model's clarity, your model's confidence. Borrow it every time you speak. When you borrow it, Right? And you pretend that you are your model. You speak like your model. You say, how would my model feel? You probably heard this before. Uh, there's an expression that comes out, WWJD. What would Jesus do? Well, you can say, WW, what would my model do? MMD, WWMMD. For those of you who model me, and all of you don't have to model me, you might say, WWMD, what would Michael do? Right? What would my model do? So when you do this, you temporarily put yourself aside and you have this new self, what I call a super powered self, right? Become the super powered communicator. But here's what's happening. When you do that, every time you do that, you're firing and wiring 
this new neural network, this new pattern of thinking, feeling, behaving, speaking. So the more you model, the sooner you wire in the new neural network, the sooner all of this becomes automatic and that sooner it becomes you. Does this make sense, right? So that's why consistent repetition over time is critical because if you're inconsistent or there's not enough repetitions or you don't do it long enough, then you stay technique driven. Some of the things that prevent people from being consistent, from consistently repeating over time is doubt. Their beliefs, oh, well, I can't really slow down because people won't listen. Oh, I have to hurry up and get this. Oh, that's too slow. Oh, that's not me. All these kinds of things. Stop people. Oh, I tried it and it's not working. Well, you're, you're rewiring your brain. Of course, it's not going to work at first, right? It's going to take time. So you just have to know it's going to take time. And you need to do it consistently as a daily routine, right? Start small and then work your way up. Start small and work your way up, okay? So if you do this and you go ahead and you practice speaking like your model, not just formally, but also in real life speaking situations where you have to actually use it, then what happens is you create this new belief that, oh, wow, look at this. I am speaking a little smoother, okay? Here's a final thing, a final key, is that you have to take this, you have to take the self-talk and this new way of speaking, the model, and you have to do it in higher and higher pressure speaking situations. So if you're not exposed to enough speaking situations, then it's going to take a long time or it may not work. So if you're just working on your own, and you're not actually getting out there talking to people where you have to test it, you have to prove it, you have to make it work. It's not going to work very well for you. But if you're someone that actually has to get out and you have to talk on the phone, you have to make presentations, you have to talk to people, you, you're trying to use what you're learning, you're going to find that it will start to work for you. Okay. Here's something else that you want to remember about this. You're going to need to be very conscious, very aware of how you're speaking and what you're saying to yourself in the moment. It's not going to happen automatically just because you say, okay, uh, in this conversation, I'm going to model or I'm going to tell myself to relax. Well, a few seconds later, you're going to default back to the way you use it because you're going to be thinking about what you're saying or whatever. This is normal, right? So what you have to do is you have to consistently repeat, remind yourself throughout those conversations. Also, you might be speaking to someone for 10 minutes. You might have to remind yourself a hundred times or more all throughout the conversation to relax, to slow down, to model, whatever it is, right? And you say, oh, man, that takes a lot of mental energy. Yes, it does. Because right? you have a current pattern, a way of thinking and speaking, in order to change that pattern, you have to become aware, oh, here's my current pattern. Then you have to replace it with a new pattern. Oh, here's the way I want to speak. Right? And you'll have to do this back and forth throughout the whole conversation. The more you do it, the more you're firing and wiring, that's law, the new way of speaking, the new way of thinking. Does that make sense? Every time you do it, you're firing that new pattern. So when you do this, and you do it this conversation, right, the next conversation, all of a sudden, the firing, the wiring, or the wiring becomes stronger, and it starts to become a habit, which means you don't have to expend as much energy. You don't have to consciously think about it as much because you've been doing the work all along, right? So don't think that just because you tell yourself to do it at the beginning, you're going to keep doing it. You have to keep doing it throughout the whole conversation for a matter of weeks, right? Until it starts to become automatic. Don't think this is going to be easy. You're going to feel drained because you're using more of your mental capacity than you normally would have to. Expect that to happen. Don't expect it to work out all the time. You're going to look for small incremental gains and build momentum. So you might try to do something that might not work. Try it again. Try it again. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful. It's really a summary of 
all the things that I've been saying for the last several years, like the last 10 years, really. Um, but if you watch this video and you listen to it, I'm really giving you the keys to transforming your speaking identity and your speech. You have to have a daily routine. Eventually, the daily routine simply becomes you're getting out there and speaking to people and using your new style every time you speak. But initially, you will need a daily routine. A part of that daily routine is going to be changing the way you think. How do you do that? Affirmations, self-talk, visualization, changing the way you speak. How do you do that? How do you want to speak? Well, I want to speak smoother. I want to feel calmer. I want to speak clearer. I want to speak confident. Okay. What does that look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? Oh, well, here's a model. Here's someone that does. Okay, I'm going to copy them. Copy them. Put yourself aside. You become your model. How often do I have to do that? Every time I speak. Every time I speak. Right. If I do that every time I speak, I'm enacting, I'm using Hebb's Law. If I use Hebb's Law, well, eventually I know this new pattern is going to wire together and that's going to be represented by this new way of speaking or this new way of thinking. Okay, that's the key. That's the secret. Hope this has been helpful. Look forward to your comments. We'll talk to you soon.